plaintiff, Charlene Williams, met the defendant on an online dating site. And she claims when they first met, she felt like she'd been catfished because he looked nothing like his pictures. Nonetheless, Charlene agreed to date him, but she eventually broke up with him when she learned he was an arrogant con man with a nasty attitude. She's suing him today for breach of contract. Defendant Craig Mangrum says he had a good relationship with Charlene. So good, in fact, that within two months, she started talking about marriage. Craig claims he eventually broke up with Charlene because she has a hot temper and she once pushed him in the head while he was driving. Craig denies owing Charlene for anything. Start with you. I met Craig on an online dating site in January of 2012. We talked on the phone for about two weeks and then decided to meet up. Now, um, on his profile, he put that he was athletic and um, he had some nice looking pictures on there, quite tasty, so I was excited. Tasty? Tasty, yeah, he was looking real tasty. Wow. Um, <laughs> nevertheless, when we met up, I thought I was being catfished because um, he didn't look anything like his pictures. And he clearly was not athletic. Okay. So, um, you know, when you think about athletic, you think of like Le Le LeBron James. He came looking more like James Brown. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> but anyway, I decided to let him make it. And I said, I'll give him a chance. I'm not going to be superficial. So over the course of the next few months, we got to know each other and we could continue dating. Um, there were some things about his personality that I you know, thought was a little bizarre. Um, he was a liar and a con man. That's not bizarre. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I don't deal with liars, so to me it was a little off. So um, he owns a, a daycare and he also owns a carpet cleaning business, okay? Good. I would notice that um, when his customers for the carpet cleaning business would call him, he would lie to them. He would make appointments with them and just not show up or he would tell them, um, he would make an appointment and tell them, I'm on the road, I'm on the road, when they're calling him, wanting to know where he is two hours later, and he's sitting at home in his drawers. So I was like, okay, this guy, you know, there's too much going on. That, coupled with his nasty attitude and his arrogance, basically killed the relationship for me, and I thought it was best that we just move when on. When was that? Um, we ended the relationship in May of 2012. Okay, sir? Well, Can you give me some background. We, we, me and Charlene had a real good relationship. It was, it was, it was really good. It was so good to the fact where within about two months she was talking about marriage. That's a lie. <laughs> You're not, that's marriage. a lie. That's they, a lie. The date that she wanted to get married was 12, 12, 12. Now if she that's wanna talk lie. about the car, that's bizarre. <laughs> She oh wanted to get married at 12, 12, 12. No. I didn't have a problem with it because I was feeling her too. So I was good no. with that. No. And you know, as I got to talk to her, got to know her more, she's just as mean as she is sweet. And like, for example, she, gave, she uh, told me one day, uh, if I ever crossed her that, if I ever crossed her that, you know, she's a nurse. So she said she would do something and dose me going into cardiac arrest or something. I was joking. <laughs> you know, I was and joking. I, and I was joking. And, and I know she was joking, but I had to tell my best friend, I said, man, look, if anything happened to me, <laughs> you make them do you make them do two or three autopsies. I want two or three autopsies. Two or three autopsies. I want two or three, autopsies. Two or three, cause she a nurse, so they know them extra things they can put in you, put, put some air in you, whatever like that. That's right. So I'm just trying to make sure I cover all my bases with that, cause you know, Please. can't let nobody get away with something, you know? Go ahead. After that, and, and then that, uh, what really made us break up was there was an incident where I was, I was having a, a grand opening and she wanted me to come over and I couldn't. So she, she got real uh -huh. upset with me. She cut, she's from New York, so she cussed me out New York style. I mean, I had never had anybody cuss me out. <laughs> With, I mean, every other word was a, a cuss word. I don't know how she did it, but she did. And I'm like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand what was wrong with her. So I said, what's going on? Are you drunk? You know, you so the next, that's no, the that's next what's day what's I went over, remember the next day I went over there, I, I, I came over there and she, um, I see this gutter liquor, you know, kind of being a bag. She had some gutter liquor there, and I'm just like, what are you oh drinking that gutter MD liquor? MD 2020? I didn't, I didn't know. Say, that's what it was. Mad Dog 2020. I didn't know that's what it was. It, it, it was yellow. Was it, it Mad yellow. Dog 2020? It was, I didn't know that's what it was. That's what it was, because yeah, she, no she said, I got it from across the street. And uh, so, you know, we talked some more. We made up, you know, we made up. So we went out to go get something to eat. On our way back, I'm driving, and it doesn't take much to set off. Whatever I said, it 
set off. She Lies. got mad, and she takes her finger, index finger, and she does this while I'm driving. <laughs> and she does this right here. I said, wait a minute, hold up, we don't do that. This, this ain't the kind of relationship I signed up for. And she said, what, what, you ain't gonna do nothing? And does it again. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, I said, that's all right, don't worry about it, I'll fix this. We good, don't worry about it. Uh, the next day I called her and I said, look, I can't do this no more. Uh, no, I said, why don't we lie. be friends? I said, why don't we be friends? She said, no, you, you're just trying to get out of this. All right, <laughs> tell me about the 3000 <laughs> Okay, so in May, on May 19th of 2012, I loaned Craig $3,000. Why would you do that? You saw he was okay. a bad and shoddy businessman. All right, I'm gonna oh. tell you why I did it. Number one, he promised me that he would pay me back my money every single cent. He promised his customers he'd finish their work. But I didn't think... <laughs> I didn't think he would... I didn't think he would cross me, though, because we had an understanding okay. you're not going to cross me. So I didn't think he would do that. Plus, he sweetened the deal by telling me he would pay me 3% 3, 3 of his profits over the next three years. And he gave me a contract saying That's this. That's a good deal. <laughs> Your Honor, I highlighted the part where it says he would pay me back I'll and... i take that deal, but you have paid me. <laughs> That's right. I'm coming for my money. That's right. <laughs> All right. Amount and duration. All right. And when you've tried to collect your money, what has he said? I've tried several times over the next year to collect my money. I've contacted him by phone. I started in August 24th of 2012. Up until July 16th of 2013, he told me he's broke, he's not making any money. And every time it was an excuse, the last time I reached out to him was on July 16th, 2013, and he didn't even return my call. Okay. <laughs> Sir? Okay, I had the same, uh, I'm gonna give you the contract I have. Mm -hmm. That's, that's uh, the original. Let's see it, please. And it's also highlighted, and, mm -hmm. and it has on there, in the first couple of uh, uh, paragraphs, it says that uh, this is an investment, an investment is a risk. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. And then if you look at the other page, a uh, couple of pages mm -hmm. over, there's, uh, it says that she can, uh, it has 3% uh, interest, net profit. Mm -hmm. So the business didn't make any money, so how can I give you Okay, wait, money Craig, you, you, you did so be quiet, I do this for a living. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so you say because you didn't make anything, you don't exactly. owe her. Exactly. Because she was an investor. Exactly. All and, right. And I'm, I'm going to add to this. What she did was she first was giving it to me. I said, no, let's not no. do that. I said, let's not do no, this. I said, let's not lie. make it personal. Let's do a business. Let me go ahead and get you in on this business. No. I actually pushed the contract. Craig, I went and got, I no, did. I that's actually, a lie. Yes, you I know did. I'm a single parent and I don't have three thousand dollars to just give anybody. You are I don't lying. Know what you have? I didn't know you, you had that. You know okay, what you're sir. Lying. You're that's lying. Enough. You you're suggest lying. that the agreement was dependent upon the investment. Exactly. That's what you suggest. Exactly. And let me uh, let that's, you take a look at what I've underlined regarding the. Um, uh, amount and duration and the terms of the final investment. As you see, it says investor agrees to support Craig with a fee in the amount of 3000 Then the next one, upon repayment of the original investment, meaning after you give her back her original investment with interest, then Granny's Loving Daycare agrees to provide to investor 3% of the net annual returns, meaning, yes, she only gets the 3% after you give her, read it again, her original investment back, 3,000. So you are agreeing with certainty that you're gonna give her her investment back. Amen. And then she'll get her 3% if that 3% occurs. If there's no net profit, she won't get her 3% but you have assured her that she will get her 3,000 back, so I'm gonna go with that assurance, and if you doubt me, go to law school and we can debate it then. <laughs> but until then, <laughs> until then, we're gonna go with my experience. 3,000 for the plaintiff. Have a Thank good day. Thank you! You knew you were lying in that I'm courtroom. I'm fine with it, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I'm glad it's over with. I was assumed that it was it was that I it was the net profit. I mean, so uh, you were judge, trying to con and, and no, you just no, got busted, no. basically. Good. Wasn't trying to get her. I mean, I don't have a problem. But Craig, you know you owe me that money, and you know that I didn't have it just to throw away. Why wouldn't again, you have some integrity what, and just pay again, me back? I don't know what you had. You, I don't get into your business what you had. And regardless, you knew you owed me that money. No, it was I was trying to do on a net profit. Okay. 
That's what we what we talked about. 